from the Landry era who are still together and still on top. Hey, hey, Bill. Charlie Waters. Yeah, Charlie. Good to see you. Good to see you. Hey, Cliff Harris. How are you doing? Good to see you. I'm not surprised they're in business together. You know, you think, like you said, Charlie and Cliff, you know, well, sure they'd be in business together. Why not? Appreciate your time today. Uh, you know, we're in the electricity business, and we've got something we like to run by you today. Uh, in business, and just like in sports, teamwork is, is the key. You know, gas prices are up. Be nice. Don't get Cliff mad, because if he takes that same intensity into the business world, how could you ever say no to this guy? And if you come across the middle... And we put the four on the side of your head. We put the four on the side of your head. If you don't do it, okay? Okay. You understand? I understand. Okay. Good. Well, when do you want to start? <laughs> people do business with people that they know. And the one advantage that we have is they know us. And they want to do business with us if we have a good product. You say product. people like you, you think you could do well in Washington or Philadelphia? <laughs> we'll go back to Washington, D.C. Those people love to come in. Or Pittsburgh. Well, maybe not Pittsburgh. Uh, <laughs> but they like, to, they like to talk, you know, because they respect it. As rookies in 1970, neither Charlie Waters nor Cliff Harris figured to find a home in the Cowboys' secondary. But during the decade that followed, their aggressive play led Dallas to five Super Bowls and two world championships. Cliff Harris and Charlie Waters would have played the game for nothing. But those guys loved football. But they enjoyed practicing out of everything around the game. Okay, out of way to go. Go deep, go deep, go deep, go deep. Out of way to go. That's the way to hustle, Cliff. That's the way to stay on him, Charlie. That's the way to stay on him. You know, many times the players around you make you. And I think in their case, they made each other. That's the way to hit it. Okay, Cliff. That's the way to go. And they were so confident in each other and had such a, um, a communication rapport. Right here. It's not Leroy's not on him. You're on him. Tom Landry's doomsday defense of the mid-70s featured safeties who were almost identical in size and style. Their impact proved to be a lasting legacy. I think they were the heart and soul and prototypical Dallas Cowboy of the 1970s. Now, you were a coach for a while. If you had to come up with a scouting report on Cliff, what would you say? What Cliff could do in my scouting report on him would be uh, a very forceful person would rather go for a hit than to make a statement and thought they wouldn't have a bigger impact on the game and the outcome of the game uh, rather than going for an interception. If there was a ch chance to go for a hit or go for an interception, I'll always go for the interception. No Dallas Cowboy ever intercepted more passes in the playoffs than Charlie Waters. But there are no statistics for what Cliff Harris did best. What he did is he used to calculate the trajectory angle right there, and then all of a sudden he's going to get to that point and explode. I want to make someone know that, hey, if they come into my territory, <laughs> they're going to pay a price. It's their option. That's what I should tell the receivers. It's, you know, it's their option. Together, we end up filling a void where there were no weaknesses in our attack. At least that's what we'd like to think about each other. <laughs> yeah. Did you ever collide at all? Oh, yeah. yeah. My hardest yeah. collision uh, was when Cliff. Uh, we both the hardest hit you ever Hardest <laughs> hit I got in my whole career was Cliff on a slant route. What, what game helped me? Baltimore. Johnny Knight. Uh, and, and you remember the game? Yeah, right. and I remember the defense we were in was a double team on the slant route on us, and I read the play perfectly. And it's cut in front of me for an interception, and next thing I know, they were carrying me off the field. It just knocked me slap out, and he just loved it. Well, I read it perfectly, too. Well, you know, we were right. both went for it. What did Coach Landry say about that? Did he say when you went, when you looked at it in the film room? When, did he say anything about that? Um, no, he doesn't generally comment about things like that. He says you know, adjust your aim a little bit and try not yeah. to yeah. hit your own guys. Yeah. What happened, Charlie? But when it comes down to the crunch time, I always reflect on the traits that he taught me. You run into somebody? Huh? Well, let's go. Let's go. Let's fight our way. We're stopping touchdowns right now. He believed in me and taught us a lot of things that we could live using throughout our lives. What are the prices like, John? I'm pleased with where, where we are today. I'm glad we're back together as, uh, as friends. And it's so uh, unique after almost 30 years that we're back together and working as a team together. This is pleasing. It's before we're going to the Super Bowl. Better for me. Yeah, it could it be better? I mean, you know, Charlie getting all pro, it was incredible. Yeah.
Yeah, both of us. The friendships and the goals that we accomplished today are going to be much more gratifying in longer term. We did those things with physical ability and determination. Now we're going to do these with our minds and creativity and the same discipline uh, that we had uh, during those days of, uh, of pro football. And we can get them in a headlock if we need to. That's right, a forearm. A to cheap shot. <laughs> and we get the deal. Form of the face. The competition doesn't have that. That's some one other little ingredient that the others don't have, and they're a little. I mean, bag of tricks. <laughs>